We gotta beat it up. We gotta beat it up. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Lisa, and this is my grandmother, aka the queen bee of the family, the matriarch. <laughs> I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna call you grandma, but I should introduce you as Antonieta. Colalino. Colalino. Right. And we both have our red lips today. I'm wearing mine in honor. This is her signature look with the red nails. Right. She did let me know I should have had red nails too, so I slipped on that. But uh, yeah. So what are we doing today? Pizzelle. We are making pizzelle. And I wanted to have my grandmother and introduce you guys to my grandmother because it's like she is like someone who always has like the best advice and the best cooking. So I figured let's put the two together and let's let's do it. Okay, let's so what do we do first? We mix the eggs. We beat it up. Beat it up. Or have you always loved like baking and Yeah, like... cooking. I love to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have a preference like cooking or baking? No, not really. Like I know for me it's more like cooking. Yeah, I'm kind of more like I like the cooking. cooking. Mm -hmm. I'm not it's now because you have nothing to do, so you have to keep yourself <laughs> occupied. So I'm trying to get stuff on the internet and uh, get recipes and try them out. So she had an amazing idea. You were telling me the other day what you did with the pizzelle for a dessert. Yes. When you do the pizzelle, either you put ice cream in between the two of them. Yeah, like an ice cream sandwich. It can be an ice cream sandwich. Or you put Nutella in between. Yeah. Oh, wow. Or you it's do amazing. both. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna add the sugar, please. Okay. It's already pre measured. You pour it in? Pour All it of in. It? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My grandmother just celebrated a big birthday, and for her birthday, can I show them the book? Mm -hmm. Do you sure. have it close by? Yeah, sure, right we created a book. Uh, well, my sister like did the, the put everything together. She takes full. I take give her full credit for it. But basically, put together a cookbook. Oh, thank you. Look at this. Isn't this the coolest thing? It's a cookbook, Cucina di Antonietta, and it's all of her recipes that we love and that are her favorite that we get to keep and pass on to like our kids. And there's like all these pictures. Look at her. Look at that hot mama. <laughs> <laughs> right? I use oil instead of butter. Pour it in. What kind of oil is that? Does it matter? That, no, I use a Bertoli Extra Light. Like an olive oil? or? It is olive oil, but it's a light. Oh, okay. Uh, now I need... Um, see those envelopes? That's uh, this vanilla. One? Yes. Both of them I or one? I need to cut both all the way up. This is really good. Cut the top. Mmm, this smells good already. Oh yeah. Instead of using the uh, dark vanilla, I put the powder vanilla. The, oh, uh, I noticed this was out, the limoncello. Yes. Instead of the lemon, I put limoncello in. Oh, I thought that was for me and you after. That's later. <laughs> <laughs> we need to put some in here first. Okay. So open this open now? Open it up. Okay. Do you need me to pour this in something first? Yeah, right Just in. Just right in? Yeah. Oh, no, Grandma, you're getting crazy. There. Oh, we went to stop. I will. Oh, more? Okay. <laughs> That's enough. It's Friday! <laughs> All little of it? A little bit at a time. Okay, so do I get a spoon or something? Get a spoon. We've got to slow this down or we're going to have flour everywhere. What's this? Baking That's soda? That's a baking powder. Okay. That's last. A baking powder. When? Is baking August. powder and baking soda different? Yeah. Oh. How long have you and Grandpa been married? 61 years. 61 years. Yep. And you haven't killed him. How do you do it? Well, How do I not kill my husband every time I want to strangle him? Well, sometimes you do. <laughs> <laughs> Just to let him know. Yeah. But then you figure, hey, and then, then what happens? Then you're going to find somebody else which is going to be worse than him. So I know. you might as well keep what you already start to train. <laughs> Oh, my mom's in the back, completely like, uh, why don't you just put your hand and just say hello? My mom is like completely like anti being in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Are you named after anybody? My grandmother. Oh, okay. On your my mom's mother's side? My, my mom's side, yes. <laughs> Did you, do you have a middle name? I don't even know if you no. have a middle name. Okay. In Italy those days, there's nobody have a middle name. Oh, no? No. Did you know your grandparents? 
uh, my on my mother's side, both parents I knew. Oh, yeah. My father's yeah. side, no, because no. he lost mother and father when he was very, very young. Oh, really? He lost so his mother when he him? was the sister-in-law. Oh, wow. He, but he lost his mother. He was eight years old. Oh, my God. And that was the second wife of my grandfather. Oh, really? And there were 17 children with two wives. Children. children. Yes. My you dad used say to say... My oh my dad God. used okay, to say... Okay, I have three though, if you count Nick. My dad said it was a party every night. Yeah, for sure. And you have to... And back then there would be like one washroom. Uh, but yeah. Not only that. 60 boys and one girl. Oh. <laughs> now listen to this. <laughs> and they used to be his younger brother. Uh, no, older, because my dad was the youngest. And they used to go and buy oil at the store, the mm. grocery store. And they used to bring the bottle and buy a liter of oil. So they used to tell him, his name was Nicola. And they used to say to him, Nicola, we need to go to the movies tonight or tomorrow night whenever the opera was playing. He says, but we don't have the money. Now what we need for you to do, break the bottle, come back crying, and said that the or the, the bottle broke was was full. It slipped out of your hand because being the oil, yeah. it'd be easy, and you lost the oil. Therefore, we take the money and go see the movie. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like for you when you first moved to Canada? Because you were older, like it's. I was like, fourteen. Yeah, like you were old enough to understand, to, understand, to have yeah. friends. Sure, to, like, I was in high school in Italy. Yeah. So when I came here, well, first of all, I went to New York because my sister was married and she moved to New York. So then we came here, which at that time I didn't see my father for four years. Wow. And, and I didn't even recognize him. When you saw him? When I saw him, somebody pointed out and said, that's your father. And I go, where? Right. I could not picture him at all. Wow. And then he, um, when I saw Toronto, for example, wow, it was amazing. It felt like a big city almost? Yeah, very, everything was big. Living in a small town, every bit, everything was big. Yeah. Did you know English before you came? No, but I knew the alphabet. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, because Just I was in learned? high school, no, I was in high school, and I was learning the, uh, because they were going to introduce English, and uh, so, uh, I learned the English alphabet. Mm. Yeah. That was pretty quick. It doesn't take long. Actually, it took a little bit longer because we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, by now, we'd be finished. <laughs> <laughs> like, I always think of you as someone who is like, you know, you dress yourself up, you feel good, you look good. Like, who was your, like, fashion icon, like, growing up? Oh, that's hard to say. Once you watch television, you see everybody, all those actors, yeah, yeah. you know, anybody there was okay in those days. Uh, but my mother was pretty fussy herself. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You had to see, when she was wearing a dress, she would look at the mirror, make sure it was even, you know, and she was always Did in she front sew? of the mirror. Was she so like a uh, sewer? No, not really, okay. but she She'd would fix style. it, you know, or tell somebody to fix it because she could not stand one side longer than the other? Yeah. Oh no, my mother would never wear a dress or a skirt like that. Well, I heard that like the Italian culture, like the, there's a concept, it's called la bella figura, it's called or something, mm -hmm. where it's like, they say that like, like for people who grow up in Italy, it's, there's a, there's a pride and it's almost like manners to dress up To proper. dress up properly. Yeah. And, it's oh, it's bad manners if you don't like present yourself well. Yeah, and also, there's no way that you could wear ripped pants or, uh, the way it is today. Yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I think I ever wore ripped jeans and Grandpa was like, what's wrong? You need a job or something? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Did you always love red? Was oh, red yeah, always your yeah. color? Oh, definitely. Because red to me, I would not wear other colors because that means it does not match my lips. Oh, okay. You so like to it me, matching. it has to be matching lipstick with nails. And you oh, okay. done the toes. And my grandmother has like the coolest, I don't know if you still have it, but I remember like a little while ago, it was like you were going through your collection and she has like all these like hats that you used to wear and stuff. Yes, but the I The most amazing like hats. excuse me, the hats, I only have two left. 
Uh, because if I'm not remember when you lived at Katara too. There's one that I used. Yeah. There, there was I don't know. You came over. You needed hats, and you came over to bore. Oh something. shit! I shouldn't have mentioned that. They should I? They never made it home again. <laughs> Forget that! Let's scrap this whole conversation! Oh, you yeah. wanna spray it? Mm, I can feel it. Oh, should we spray it? I'm, I'm curious, like, what you see about, like, women in my generation or younger that you are, like, either, like, oh, this is great, like, I'm glad that women are moving in this direction, or I think you guys have it all wrong. And you're... No, no. They should be. Uh, moving along and better uh, if they can better themselves why not this is not a man's world hmm. hello it's, it's a human world yeah exactly okay. amen and, and, excuse me my dad used to say to me like when I learned how to drive he was so proud yeah and he used to say to me he says in Italy us being in a small town we had a horse and buggy oh, really? to transport ourselves. Mm. Here, a woman needs a car yeah. to transport herself and her children, mm. whatever they need to go. So he was really forward thinking. Oh yes, my like dad he was, he was very modern. Oh yeah, very. So here are the pizzelle, a couple of the first batch that we've that she made. We're gonna have some. Yeah, let's try. We gotta taste them. Okay, ching 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 ching. <laughs> They're still warm. So good. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You want Nutella in it? You want to try a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> it tastes like a Ferrero Rocher. Mm. Oh my god, that's so amazing. Mm -hmm. Grandma, thank you for making pizza live with me. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you too. It's Thanks amazing. for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.